Hey guys, how's it going? So I hope you guys enjoyed the pancakes from yesterday. Super simple to make and delicious. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do today, to be completely honest with you. Um, I did make an iced latte though, so if all else fails and I don't really cook much, I can show you that. So let's go. All right guys, so this is my delicious latte. So it's just um, two shots of espresso with some skim milk and a touch of sugar. Um, looks delicious. I love having this espresso machine, but yeah, and of course, using my straws, I have so many of them. Um, not sure what I'm going to cook tonight. Don't have a lot. I'm going to have to probably Instacart pretty soon, um, but at least I figured I'd show you this. Hey guys, so I know I wasn't sure what I was going to make before, but I've decided to make some uh, like kind of burrito taco bowls. It's not going to be exact. It's based on the ingredients that I have. Um, it's they're, it's inspired by a burrito bowl, but we're gonna do a rice base with, um, I have some turkey that's gonna be going on a date very soon. So we're gonna use some ground turkey. I have some of that leftover, uh, that leftover Bravo sauce from the potatoes. So I'm actually gonna cook the turkey in that because it has cumin, uh, red pepper, garlic, a lot of diff good flavors in it. Um, and then I have some skin alien, some cilantro. I have some frozen corn that I found. So we're gonna roast some of that up with some red peppers. Um, and yeah, it's just gonna be the flavors of like, it's Cinco de Mayo, so I was trying to do something that kind of went with that. Um, this is pretty much gonna use up my pantry, so we're gonna definitely um, do Instacart tomorrow to get new ingredients, but I'll go ahead and show you guys what we got. All right guys, so what we have here, I have some of that frozen corn that I was telling you about, some sugar bomb tomatoes, avocados, lime. I'm thinking about doing like um, a hot honey and lime vinaigrette. Some red pepper, we're going to use some hot sauce in here somewhere, probably toss it with the vinaigrette to add a little bit of heat, or I don't know, maybe in the corn. Um, olive oil, because why not? Smoked paprika, cumin, I have some leftover cilantro and scallions, our rice, and then our turkey, and then that's our leftover um, bravo sauce. So the first thing we're going to do is get our rice cooking, um, and then we'll start roasting our corn. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and cook our rice. So we're going to do one cup of rice to one and a half cups of water, so I'm just going to measure that out. All right, so I have our cup of rice. Now I'm gonna add uh, one cup and then another half cup of water. All right, so our rice is cooking. It'll take about half an hour. All right, so I already have our corn in the bowl. Um, so we're gonna use a little bit of hot sauce, olive oil, smoked paprika, and cumin, and grated garlic. And then we're gonna really uh, fine dice this red pepper. All right, so an easy way to do a small dice is I really thinly slice. This is called a fine julienne. And that's what closer to a real julienne, um, half of the red pepper, and then we're going to kind of stack it like that and then just cut it into the small dice. It's a lot easier than trying to do it any other way, so that's a little uh, tip for you guys. All right, so there's our red pepper, nice uh, fine dice. So we're going to add that to our corn. We have about a cup of corn in here. Um, next, I'm going to go ahead and grate two cloves of garlic. All right, so we have our two cloves of garlic. We're just going to add that to our mixture, and then we're going to stir just enough olive oil to coat, a little dash of hot sauce, and then just some smoked paprika and cumin to coat. So we got about two tablespoons of olive oil, a teaspoon of hot sauce, a teaspoon of paprika, and a half a teaspoon of cumin. These flavors are going to really go well with the Bravo sauce because we used those spices before. And then we're going to add a little dash of salt, about, eh, about a half a tablespoon. Uh, so we're going to mix this up and put it on a sheet tray. I don't know why I decided to choose the world's largest sheet tray for this very small amount of mixture, but whatever. It was already lined. I was just being lazy. Um, so we're going to put this, I had already set the oven to 400 degrees for about uh, five to eight minutes until it just slightly gets um, a little bit of a darkness and roasted for the corn and that the pepper gets a little bit um, soft. So we're going to throw that in the oven. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is make our vinaigrette for our avocado and tomato. So it's gonna be Mike's Hot Honey. I'm gonna use, if the lime is not acidic enough, I'll use a little bit of sherry vinegar, olive oil, cilantro, scallions, and of course the lime. So the first thing we're gonna do is um, cut the lime and squeeze all the juice into our bowl. And then we're gonna just cut up our scallions and our cilantro. We'll also use some to garnish the dish, but you know, we're gonna put this in the vinaigrette too. All right, so we have our scallions, cilantro, and lime. So I'm gonna go ahead, and I kind of, I, before I cut the lime, I rolled it like this, to, I mean, not the halves, but the whole lime together, just kind of break this up. So we're gonna go ahead and squeeze our lime juice in here. This is a pro tip if you're ever trying to squeeze the lime juice out of your lime and it's not coming out, use a pair of tongs to help squeeze it and the juice will come out a little bit better. All right, we have our lime juice. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add our scallions. And then I'm gonna add our cilantro. All right, next thing we're gonna do is add about a half a tablespoon of our hot honey. 
All right, and I'm gonna add a dash of salt. Now, if you didn't have hot honey, you could always, maybe, it wouldn't be exactly the same flavor, but take regular honey and I'll use a little bit of this hot sauce. Um, so that's just an option. So we're gonna go ahead and stream in our olive oil for our vinaigrette. All right, so a vinaigrette salsa, I added about another half, so it's a full tablespoon of hot honey because I like spicy. So this looks good, so we're gonna set this aside and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut our tomatoes and avocado. Also, just to reiterate, I didn't use the sherry vinegar for that vinaigrette. Um, because uh, I got enough lime juice, so I didn't need it, and the lime had a nice acidity. So what we're gonna do, just so you guys are aware, but if you're lime, if you can get enough lime juice, if it's not a very ripe lime, you could go ahead and add a little bit of sherry vinegar, um, maybe like a tablespoon, depending on how much liquid you get, because you want about two tablespoons of acid, or maybe a tablespoon. I like really acidic food, so as you know. But anyway, so we're gonna go. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and have the sugar bomb tomatoes, and I don't know if I'm gonna use two avocados, probably just one. Um, I just got the two in case one of them has some brown spots, so we're gonna go ahead and dice these up. I'm just gonna add them into this bowl. Also, I said that the corn would take 10 minutes. I'm like five to eight, I don't know what I was saying. It should take about 15 minutes, so it's still going. I don't know what happened with my throat there. But we have our avocado, and then I already cut up our tomatoes. I decided to quarter them, so we're gonna go ahead and add them, and then add our delicious vinaigrette. All right, I have our tomatoes. Now we're gonna go ahead and drizzle our vinaigrette. We'll taste it. We might wanna season it with a little bit more salt, but that looks awesome. So I decided to add a dash of salt, and since the tomatoes are so sweet, I don't think this is spicy enough, so I'm gonna add a few dashes of our hot sauce just to add a little bit more heat, but that's just for me. All right, guys, so the next thing we're gonna do is cook off our turkey. We're gonna get this pan hot with some olive oil and add our turkey. All right, so we've added our turkey. I'm just gonna cook this down. And then, all right, so our turkey is nice and cooked down. It's got a little sear on it. So we're gonna go ahead and add our Bravo sauce. All right, so I added about three quarters of a cup of the Bravo sauce. So if you didn't have the Bravo sauce, if you didn't make that uh, recipe, you can go ahead and when you do the turkey, you could first cook off some onions and garlic um, and then save that as a base, add your turkey, cook it down, add a little tomato paste, some cumin, smoked paprika, and crushed red pepper. It wouldn't be exactly the same, but it would have similar flavors. So, I mean, I just, if you guys made that recipe and we had all that extra sauce, I just wanted to show you guys a way to utilize it. I didn't want to throw it away. I'll probably use the rest for like an omelet or something. Um, but yeah, so that's going. Um, the sauce itself wasn't super seasoned because it was going on those, I mean, it is seasoned, but it was going on very salty potatoes. So I just added a little bit of salt to this. Um, we'll taste this. Also, I don't think I showed you our nice corn, uh, roasted corn and uh, bell peppers. So we have our nice avocado and tomato mixture. That right there, probably a little hot sauce for on top, cilantro and scallions. Um, and then our rice is done, so we're going to build our bowls very soon. Alright, so we have our rice. Next thing we're going to do is add our turkey. Alright, so we have our turkey. Um, next thing we're going to do is add our uh, tomato and avocado mixture. Alright, so we have our avocado and tomato mixture. Next we're going to add our corn. Alright, so we have our nice corn and red pepper mixture. Now we're going to just garnish with some scallions and cilantro. Alright, so we have our scallions and cilantro. Looks really good. I'm just going to add a dash of hot sauce. Alright guys, what do you think? I think it looks awesome. I think we made do with what we had in our pantry. Um, I know it's Cinco de Mayo. This is my try for a burrito bowl based on the ingredients I had. I do have some cheese in the fridge. I might add to this just, you know, for that little bit of richness. But yeah, it looks really good. I think so. I'm excited to eat it. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, there's so many easy swaps that you could do for that. So if you wanted to add some like black beans, you could absolutely add some black beans to that. If you didn't have turkey, use ground beef, ground pork. If you have like leftover rotisserie chicken, use that. You don't have the bravas. I kind of already told you guys to use the onions and the garlic, the smoked paprika, maybe tomato paste, cumin and red pepper flake, go ahead. Um, or make like a traditional taco meat too, which you know is mainly cumin basically and like chili powder. Um, but yeah. And then if you don't have avocado, use some cheese. I, I don't, this was just a way to utilize what we had in our, our fridge. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, have a good night. Uh, thanks for watching. I don't know why the color is like so red right now. Let's see. That's really weird. Anyway, um, but thanks so much for watching. Have a good night. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks.